Welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today I'm going to show you how to play Canon in D. This is a beautiful tune and a beautiful arrangement. And it's taken from different arrangements that are out there about Canon in D. This uh, a rock guitar arrangement for this, uh, different finger style arrangements. So it's kind of a mixture of that. So if you liked it and you would like to learn it, then definitely go ahead. It's not that difficult. It's It starts off very easy. We keep adding different melodies in the same chord progression that's happening in the song. All right, so let's get right into it. You don't need any cable for this song and it's in standard tuning in the key of D, obviously, Canon in D. All right, so let's start. So at the beginning, just playing two notes on each chord. So we start out by doing open on D, D string over here, right? So open on the fourth string and you've got second fret on the first string. I'm going to pick them together. Next you come to A and over here you have open on fifth string and open on first string. Pick them together. Now you come to B minor and for now you just need second fret on the fifth string that's going to be your B note and you have third fret on the second string. All right, pick them together. Next you come to F sharp minor chord and again over here second fret on the top string and second fret on the second string. Now you come to G, third fret on the top string, open on second string. Back to D, so open on fourth string and second fret on third string this time. Come back to your G. Then come to A. For A we are playing open on 5th string and 2nd fret on the 2nd string. Alright, so if you put that all together you have D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G, back D, G and A. And now so what we're doing is 3rd fret on 2nd string, open on 1st string and then 
So here we're picking open on fourth string at the same time we're doing hammer on from open to second fret on the first string. Okay, so. And then you're going to play third string, second fret, second string, third fret, first string, second fret. So. I come back to A major. So here what we're doing is we're picking 5th and 1st string open together. Then we're picking 2nd fret on 5th, on 4th string, 2nd fret on 3rd string, 2nd fret on 2nd string. So. Okay. Now we come to B minor. Okay, so put your B minor chord on. You're going to pick um, B minor. I hope you know how to play this chord. Just put that on and then you're going to pick 5th and 2nd strings together and then pick 4th string, 3rd string and 2nd string. 2nd fret on 5th string, 4th fret, 4th fret on 4th and 3rd strings and 2nd fret on and 3rd fret sorry on the 2nd string. So here what we're doing is, so 5th and 2nd strings together, 4th string, 3rd string and 2nd string. Now F sharp minor. I played this way. If you want, you can play it like this, right? I just prefer to do it this way. So what I'm doing is I'm first playing second fret on top string and second fret on second string together. Then I'm picking fourth fret on the fourth string. Then I'm picking second fret and second fret on third and second strings. So. Okay. Now I come to G. So second second string open and top string third fret together. Fourth string open, third string open, second string open. Okay. Now I come to D. So here what we're doing is we're picking 4th string open and on 3rd string we'll be picking 2nd fret together. Then again picking 4th string open, 3rd string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret. So Come back to G and do the same thing that we did last time on G. Okay, now on A you do this. So that's all you're doing. Open on fifth string, second fret on second string, pick them together, and second fret on fifth string. Okay, now you again start on D and, you, and you're going to do this. So you end it over here on A. Now again start on D all over again and you do this. Right, start like this. So third fret on second string, open on first string. Now hammer on on first string from open to second fret. At the same time, you're going to play fourth string open. And third string second fret. And third fret on second string. So okay. Now you do this. Okay, once again. So you're doing a finger roll. Like this on A major chord so put A major chord on and from the fifth string uh, to the first string you're playing all these strings individually like this arpeggiated like that okay it's called a finger roll if you can't do it just do a strum okay and then so this is third fret on first string second fret and open Okay. And now. Okay, so fifth string, second fret, and third fret on second string, pick them together. 
then fourth fret on third string okay and open on first string and third fret on second string okay and then so this is second fret on top string and second fret on second string pick them together then pick second fret on first string and fifth fret on the first string so now you come to G and do this so third fret and third fret on top and first strings second fret on first string open on first string okay back to second fret sorry third fret so let's see that's what's happening on G okay now you come to D and do this so open on fourth string second fret on first string pick them together open on first string third fret on second string second fret on second string so So coming back to G, bring a finger roll, open on, uh, sorry, third fret on top string, open on third string and second string, okay? Second fret on third string, open on second string, right? Third fret on second string, so. And then. So on A, what you're doing is open on, doing a finger roll, open on a fifth string, second fret on third string and second string, okay? Third fret on second string, open on first string, then back to second fret on the second string. Okay, so let's take it from uh, the beginning over here. Now, we are going to again start the whole chord progression. Uh, starts on D like always, it goes like this. Come to A, so. So put your D major chord on, and then we are just picking third string, second string, and fourth string together. And open second fret, third string, then third fret. You can pick all these three, three strings together, or you can do a finger roll if you want. Then on first two strings, we have second and third fret, going to pick them together two times. So, that's what's happening on D. And now on A, again a finger roll, simple finger roll. If you can't do that, just strum. Okay. And then, on B minor, second fret on fifth string. And then I play all these three strings together, fourth string, third string, and second string. Okay, same notes on as uh, we have on B minor chord. Okay, we're going to pick them two times. So first the bass note, and then pick them two times. And now so, and then now again going to do a finger roll on F sharp minor chord. So F sharp minor chord, whole bar on second fret. And fourth and fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings. I bring a finger roll uh, from top string to the second string. Don't play the first string, okay, like that. If you don't, if you can't do that, strum. Okay, and now. Okay, so 5th fret on 5th string, 
and seventh fret on the first string pick them together open on third string and second string and second fret on second string okay and now so here you're picking open on fourth string third fret on second string and fifth fret on first string all three strings together then second fret on second string and then again third fret on second string so from here and then okay once again and now so, uh, as you can see we're doing a finger roll again fourth string open second string is eighth fret first string is seventh fret so like that come back to second string th uh, second string uh, which is your eighth fret and third string second fret uh, seventh fret sorry so okay one skin so let's stick from here and then and now so open on fifth string um, 10th fret on 2nd string and 9th fret on 1st string bring your finger roll come to 7th fret on 1st string 5th fret on 1st string okay and right after that right after you hit that 5th fret on the 1st string you're going to slide up all the way to the 10th fret on the 1st string so slide up and you pick that note and along with that you're going to pick open on the fourth string okay so let's take it from here and then and then and now we're going to learn this okay so let's divide that whole thing so after this Second fret on first string, uh, third fret on first string, and fifth fret on first string. So back to second fret on first string, third fret, and fifth fret. Along with that, you're going to have open on fifth string. So on skin. So, second fret on uh, your fourth string, fourth fret, second fret on second string, third fret. So, then fifth fret. So, then second and third fret on the first string. now so second fret and second fret on fifth and first strings pick them together then three and five on the second string okay then second fret on first string so now over here you've got fourth fret on the fourth string open on third string and now we do this so the second fret on the top string and second fret on third string pick them together then open on second string and second fret on third string open then second fret again okay so now you have three two and three on the second string okay so so if we start from over here now we come over here so 
this is third fret on top string open on second string pick them together then three two and open on the second string okay now two and open on the third string okay and now so this is second fret on third string open on fourth string pick them together and open on third string fourth fret on fourth string open on third string second fret fourth fret and second fret on second string and third fret on second string so let's check it from G and now so this is open on second string third fret on top string pick together then three two three on the second string and then two and open all on second string so And then in the very end, so this is second fret on second string and open on fifth string pick together, then third fret on second string, open on first string, third fret on second string, then all on first string, open second fret, third fret, and fifth fret. Okay, so. So that completes our chord progression for this particular segment. So let me repeat everything once again from over here. Now we're going to repeat everything all over again but there's going to be a few changes okay so now what's going to happen is this okay so the beginning is the same open on fourth string and fifth fret on first string pick together then two three five on first string once again two three and on five you pick open on fifth string so is also the same that we did the last time second fret and fourth fret on third string then two three five on second string and then two and three on the first string so next this is also the same as we learned the last time so second fret and second fret on first string and fifth string pick together Three and five on second string, then second fret on first string, okay. Then fourth fret on fourth fourth string, open on third string. Now here's a change. So this time we're picking second fret on top string, second fret on third string together. Open on second string, then second fret open and second fret on third string okay so now fourth fret on fourth fourth string then open and second fret on third string so now we come over here so open on third string and third fret on top string pick together open on second string then second fret and open on third string then fourth fret and second fret on the fourth string next you do this so this is fourth fret 
on fourth string and open on fifth string pick together and second fret on fourth string open second fret fourth fret okay open and second fret on third string and open on second string so Next, you do this. So this is third fret on top string, open on third string, pick together. Open on second string, second fret on third string, open on second string, second fret on third string, and open on second string again. So. Let's take it from over here. And then. Right. Now. So this is open on fifth string and second fret on third string pick together. Open on second string, second fret, third fret. Okay, and open second fret and third fret on the first string. So, let's take it from over here. So this is open on 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, and 5th fret, alright? You're just gonna arpeggiate it like that individually. If you want, you can just strum like that. Alright, that completes another segment. Now we move to the next um, segment. So I hope you what, what well, you understand what I mean by segment. It's basically the whole chord progression from D major to A to uh, B minor to F sharp minor to G to D to G to A that whole is you know one segment all right so now the next one goes like this okay we're gonna learn that first so D major chord we're going to pick fourth string third string and second string like that back to third string second fret okay a slide from 2 to 5 on the first string then pick 5th fret on the first string and open on 5th string together then 3 on first string okay next to come over here so this is 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 5th and 1st strings 3rd fret on 2nd string then 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 1st on and top string open on 1st string and now so this is 3 and 3 on top string and 2nd string pick together open on 2nd string then D chord picking 4th string, 3rd string and 2nd string on D major fifth fret on the first string okay let's start from the beginning sorry says third fret and third fret on top string and first string pick them together open on third string slide from five to seven on first string back to five on first string along with that you're going to play open on fifth string and third fret on first string so okay so that completes another segment
next one starts like this. So on D major, I'm going to pick fourth string, third string, second string, all right? Like that. Then second fret on second string, third fret, open. So. Once again. Next. So this is open on fifth string, second fret on first, on second string pick together. Second fret on fourth string, second fret on third string, open on third string. All right. Next on B minor, you do this. So the second fret and fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings pick together. Fourth fret on third string, third fret on second str second string, and fourth fret on third string again. So. So this is 5th fret on 1st string, 2nd fret on top string played together and 2nd fret on 1st string slide from 5 to 7 on 1st string and now so this is 3 and 3 on top string and 1st string 2nd fret on 1st string open and 3rd fret okay and now so this is 2nd fret on 1st string, open on 4th string pick together, open on 1st string and 3rd fret and 2nd fret on 2nd string, okay, and now, so this is 3rd fret on top string, open on 3rd string, open on 2nd string, a finger roll, and 2nd fret on 3rd string, open on 2nd string and 3rd fret, okay. And then, so this is open on 5th string, 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 3rd and 2nd strings, finger roll, and 3rd fret on 2nd string, open on 1st string, and 2nd fret on 2nd string. Okay, so. Now we move to the next segment. It starts like this. This is open on fourth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string. Pick all of these three notes together. Then just pick third string and then second string, right? And now, so this is seventh fret on second string, fifth fret on first string, pick together. Pick them once again along with that you're going to have open on fifth string. So sorry. And then so this is eighth fret on second string, seventh fret on first string, and five and seven on first and second strings, and three and five on first and second strings. This is 2 and 2 on 5th string and 1st string, then 4th fret on 3rd string, 3rd fret on 2nd string, then 2nd fret on 1st string, alright? And then, this is 2 and 2 on top string and 1st string, 3rd fret on 1st string, 2nd fret and 5th fret on 2nd string, okay? Now, so this is 3 and 3 on top string and 2nd string pick together, and 2nd fret on 2nd uh, string, open, 2nd fret again, and then, okay, so, so basically this is open on 5th string and 3rd fret on 2nd uh, string pick together, open on 4th string, Third fret on second, second fret on third string, third fret 
on second string so or you can just do like that okay so starting from the beginning string open on third string third fill on second string now on second string you have two open one okay so then come on a major and do this let's open on fifth string second fill on four, second fill on second string pick together all right on a major then fourth string third string second string all second fill so sorry now you're going to repeat the first segment once again so i'm just going to show you what you're going to repeat from here all of this is being repeated from d major It's nothing we've learned already all, all of this part it's just being repeated again so let me show you how it all started the first segment and the second segment right the first one was this right and then this was different have to play this part second time second time you start similarly exactly the same all of this is same now here's going to be the change all right so let's learn this first third fit on top string open on third string third fit on second string finger roll and second fit on second string open hammer on from open to second fit right and then so on a major you're doing open on fifth string second fit on third string pick them together second fit on fourth string second fit on third string on second string you're going to do a slide from second to third fret okay so now the very ending okay so this is open on fourth string and third fret on second string pick together and second and open on third string fourth fret on fourth string then a hammer on from second to fourth fret and immediately after that you have to do a pull off from fourth fret to second fret and again a pull off from second fret to open so right and then like that get it so second fret to fourth fret hammer on pull off and pull off again now fourth fret on fifth string hammer on from open to second fret on the fourth string you can do a vibrato over there and then open on fifth string open on fourth string second fret on third string third fret on second string and open on first string I'm just gonna strum that down in the very end you can do a harmonic uh, by keeping that D shape over there and on the second string you can do that so that's uh, nothing but a harmonic so that means uh, we've got third fret on second string right you're gonna add 12 more frets into that so 12 plus 3 is 15 so on the 15th fret over here on the second string you're going to uh, place your finger index finger just lightly on the string all right just lightly if you press it then you're not gonna get the proper sound just have like just touch on the string just touch it over there along with that third fret over there 3 plus 2 15 
and then with the help of your thumb you can pick that string right so touching the string with the next finger and picking it with the thumb like that get it so if i press it with my index finger over here it's not gonna happen right so i have to just gently touch it over there and then with my thumb just pick the string like that so That's optional, you can do that, it sounds nice. It's called a harp harmonic. All right, so that is it. That's how you play Canon D. I hope you liked the lesson. Um, I've also got a tab tutorial for this. Um, like, a, If you want to um, just read the tabs for the whole song with me playing along, uh, there's a tab tutorial that I'll link down in the description box below. If it will be soon up in a couple of days, I'll put it there. Or you can also go to my channel. All right, so uh, thanks for all your support all the comments, all the feedback, all the likes. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time with another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.